I want to talk to you today about something that I've been struggling with recently. So lately, I've been working on reprogramming my subconscious. It's a part of my healing journey that's a little bit on a deeper level than just dealing with the issues that you have day to day. I wanted to do this because I want to grow and to be a better person and so that I can better help others that are behind me on their healing journey. And I want to be able to show people that you can get better no matter what your situation is. But I was having this struggle. I would get to a certain point of my healing and I would just hit this wall. I would constantly hit the same wall. I wasn't sure what the wall was or why it wouldn't move or why it was so strong. But once I hit this wall, I kept telling myself that the wall is there because I'm too broken to get past it. I'm too broken to be fixed. I told myself that over and over again in my head. I'm just so broken. I was traumatized at a very young age. I never had a chance. I'm just too broken to deal with this. And I kept telling myself that every day, every time I got to that wall and I hit it, I'm just, I'm not there. I, I can't be fixed. I can't get past this wall because I'm just so broken. And then one day I was having a particularly rough session with my counselor because I was just going through so much at the time. And kind of under my breath, but not really out loud, I told her, I'm just too broken. And there was a pause. It was a silence, which doesn't happen very often in my counseling sessions. And you could tell she was just thinking about what I had just said. And she sat there for a second and she looked at me and said, is that what you, were, you really think? You really think that you're broken? I'm sorry that you feel that you're broken because all I see is a strong woman and a brave woman who's just dealing with a lot. And that validation is something that I needed to hear. It was something that I was searching for that I couldn't give to myself because I kept telling myself, you're just too broken. There is no way that you can be fixed because you never had a chance. There is no way that you can get to where you want to go because you're just too broken. And in that moment when she told me that she didn't see me as broken, that she saw me as a very strong woman and a very brave woman, and coming from someone who's not supposed to tell me that because they're my husband or my family or my best friend, they're supposed to tell you all the good things about you. She was my counselor and she was supposed to tell me the truth. And I took that as the truth and that's what I needed to get past that wall because telling yourself that you're too broken to move fur further, that you're too broken to grow, to heal, is what's keeping you from healing. It's what's keeping you from growing. It's that mindset that you have that you're broken so it's there's no use in trying. If you change that mindset and tell yourself that you are strong, that you can get through this, and know it to be true, then you will get through it. It's just like there's this Japanese version of fixing pottery. When a broken piece of pottery happens and you put it back together, often you'll still see the holes and the scarring. But this Japanese method is that they take a, a lacquer mixed with either gold, silver, or platinum and fill in the holes with that, which makes the piece even stronger and more valuable. So instead of trying to cover up all of the scars, they actually bring it out and accent it with this beautiful lacquer. And that's what you need to think of yourself as, that piece of pottery that can be put back together that can be even more valuable and even more strong than you were before. And always remember that you're not alone and I appreciate you.